Welcome back to Sleepless Running Plays. Today, we are unboxing this box. What's in this box, you may be asking? The first wave of the Battletech Kickstarter from Catalyst Games. That's right. This is the first the first wave of the new clan stuff for the Catalyst Kickstarter. So let's unbox this massive box. I back to the Star Colonel pledge. So we're gonna see everything. We're gonna see almost everything you get in Wave One. I've got all the mech packs available in the Wave One, plus a bunch of the the salvage boxes and stuff like that's gonna be in here. My selection of shirts, my keychains, and so forth. Not every selection will be the same between all the backers, very obviously, because there's so many clans and industry houses to choose from. But nonetheless, this is a pretty good sample of what a Star Colonel backing level will look like upon Wave One arrival. I'm cutting in very shallowly because this box is poofy and full. And full of packing material. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Something missing. I can use that thing to contact them. Okay, I'm going to pull the box off the tabletop right now. And as I pull things out, I'll display them down there. Because this is so much in here. This is going to be a pain in the butt to leave. First thing we've got right here. Smoke Jaguar t-shirt. It's a pretty nice design, actually. We got the Smoke Jaguar pin. That is uh, pretty darn cool looking, actually. That's bigger than I thought they'd be. That's really nice. Smoke Jag Patch. You can kind of tell what clan I like. Oh, wow. This is really cool. The Challenge Coin. A medallion thing. That That is nice. It's a little coin protector. Oh, those are sweet. Direwolf on the back. Well, I found an empty bag with a Clan Codex dog tag. I'm assuming that's running around in my box somewhere. I'll have to find that. Here's some of the uh, pilot cards. Just sitting out there. This is MechWare card pack number one. Ah! There we go. No, wait. This is the Dagger Star keychain. That's... That's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. I don't know if it's my uh, Harry Potter and my... Uh, Evangelion stuff on my current keychain, but it might go on there. Okay, I found six baggies of dice so far. Let's see, we got Clan Coyote. Wolf's Dragoons. Comstar. Snow Raven. Jade Falcon. That's not all the dice I got. I should have at least free Rassel Hay. In here as well. Aha! I found it! Aha! Okay, I found the dog tag. Which also apparently serves as a beer bottle opener. So, uh, yeah. Go play Battletech and drink some. There they are. Free Rassel Hague Republic dice. Had to get those. So few people like the Free Rassel Hague. Yeah. More pilot cards. Warriors of Korinsky. I know you're all probably thinking, where are the mechs? Where are the mechs? They're coming later. I want to go through all the other stuff first. Uh, MechWare card pack number two. We got Champions of the Inner Sphere. Mercenaries of the Inner Sphere, two. I honestly don't remember my selections on those two well, so that might be the right ones I selected. Okay, time for the first mechs. <gasps> yeah, the punch outs. <laughs> yeah, whole bunch of standees, though, but that's really kind of nice. I mean, if you want to play cheaply or you didn't get all the mechs in the thing, which I got every single pack. Uh, yeah, this is a. This is nice. I mean, this is the way they used to do it back in the old days under Fossa. I remember them doing this with Fossa stuff, so... Hey, you got that. We got the Battle of Tucky and Map Pack, which is honestly really nice. I mean, I mainly play with, like, 3D terrain and stuff like that. But, hey, if I want to play smaller games, I got the battle, the Map Pack right there. It's pretty cool. We got Record Sheets. Invaluable. We got our posters. I will also unfold these and uh, 
do some later shots then. You'll see that later in the video. Because I think these are really gorgeous posters. I don't know if I'm going to put them on my walls, but I'm going to see if I can't find a place for them. Okay, okay. I promise I'm not going to delay anymore. Time for some mechs. There we go. That's the limited edition, I do believe, Kickstarter artwork for the Clan Invasion box set. Right there. We've got the Clan Command Battle Star. Or, no, the Clan Command Star. That's a really nice star. I'm going to unbox all these and we'll go, we'll go through them a bit more later on. I know I'm just going to show them all off. Clan Heavy Striker Star. Inner Sphere Command Lance. And Inner Sphere Battle Lance. Then I've got six. Of those salvage packs to go through. So I'm going to clean off this tabletop. And then we're going to go through. We're going to open up these uh, mech packs. We're going to see what we got in there. So look forward to that. Just uh, we'll be back in a second. And we're back. Right after the jump. Here we go. Let's get into this clan invasion box set. Very gently cut along there. Okay, inside we got the Bonds of Battle. This gets a short story. We got more mech packs. This is gonna be Clan Mechwares, which also contain the uh, stuff for Alpha Strike, which is kind of cool. Some more dice, and we got our mechs right here. We got some stuff below there, though. Let's take a look at the stuff below. Clan Invasion Primer, Clan Invasion Rulebook. More record sheets. Oh, a map of the inner sphere. 3025. I wonder if, uh, if there's more, another map on the other side. Oh, some more thing, more standees. More maps. And honestly, one of these uh, information charts. These, Those are really good. I like those a lot. I'm really glad they included those. Oh, yeah. Other side of the map. Inner sphere 3052. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. There's Tucky Yid right there. Okay, I like the map a lot. Let's take a look at these mechs. We got our Executioner. That's an okay mech. I think he's, what, 95 tons? Yeah. A lot of weapons in the arms. Nothing really much in the torso. So if you lose an arm, you're kind of screwed. But hey, whatever. It's a pretty good assault mech. We got the true workhorse of the Clan Heavy line. The Timberwolf. That is a gorgeous mech. We got uh, Medium. The Grindle. It's a good mech. 45 tons, I do believe. Solid, solid loadouts usually. It's a good workhorse. We got the overheating monstrosity of the uh, Nova. This plastic is actually really darn good. It's it, it's harder than I thought it was going to be, actually. That's really good. It's, like, it's the same quality as the stuff we got in the uh, other plastic Battletech boxes so far. And here we have an adder. They made him smaller, which actually makes him feel right, because he's only, what, 30 or 35 tons? I'm seriously blinking on the weights of some of these things, which is kind of sad. He's saying I've played this game since the days of Fossa. Oh, these are nice. These are so nice. I love how this thing looks like a gun platform now. Instead of like a walking house. Two stands of elementals. These are a little bit smaller than I was expecting them to be. But they're not bad. Any way, shape, or form. They probably actually completely correctly in scale with these things. I mean... Yeah, these are nice mechs. These are what I was looking for. Look at the level of detail inside the missile pods. Wow. Yep, very happy with these. So let's get in and start digging into the other things I got. All the rest of the Wave 1 stuff. Let's start with... The Battletech Intersphere Command Lance. Oh, oops, cards fell out. Let's get the cards. It's really nice, all the Alpha Strike cards. 
Okay, we got ourselves a Stinger, Valkyrie, Archer, and a Marauder. The I have the names are on on the packages, so you kind of already if you're confused by the like the new looks or whatever for some reason. Yeah, look at look at the uh, look at the missile pods on that thing. That is really nice. It's really nice. The detail on these things is really fantastic. Really good good detail. The venting along the side of the guns. Yep. Very happy. Very, very happy with these. Okay, well, let's keep digging through some more of these packs. Let's look at the Clan Command Star next. There's the cards again. Okay, we got Alpha Strike cards, and that's nice. These guys are really sweet, too. Personal favorite, looks-wise, probably the Summoner right here. It's always been one of my favorite mechs. Can't help it. He's always been a... Uh, I've always liked the way he looks. Not the best mech, because usually weapon loadouts aren't the, aren't the greatest. But, you know, it's fine. Hello, giant direwolf. Oh, you know, that, that, that top slopes down the front. I like that. That's actually really cool. Some good detail on these things. All the individual paneling... The venting on the guns, very nice. Yeah, the Mist Lynx is actually really sweet looking too. The depth of the barrels on the weaponry, poor little thing. All those weapons on the arms. Lose an arm to like any kind of hit, which is gonna, you know, one hit will just shred the thing. Shadow Cat, always a solid mech. Yeah, I guess I didn't mention the Storm Crow. And the other Storm Crow is only like your staple mediums. It's a, what, a 55 tonner, I do believe? We've got the Inner Sphere Battle Lance. Haha, <laughs> I took the cards out. We got the uh, Alpha Strike cards with the Wasp and Warhammer sides in there. The mechs themselves. Okay, let's see what we're looking at in this pack. We got a Wasp. Eh, he's nice. I wish his antennas were, you know, not just little stubby bits right there, but they actually were antennas. Rifleman is a... It's a Rifleman. Hard to say he's not a Rifleman. Then again, the Rifleman is pretty much the... Very iconic and standard. It's it just... Big guns, radar dish, go to town. You're all set. Warhammer. Again, another iconic mech. Big gun arms. And he's ready to go to town. But you know what the real winner of this pack is? Absolutely 100%. The Phoenix Hawk. This guy is epic. This is like one of the best re-sculpts they did, I think. So much detail on the head's been added in. The 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 uh, jets on the back are just awesome. Yeah, this whole guy is just sweet. Although, I don't like the fact that his pose is looking off of that corner right there. Uh, instead of straight on. But, whatever. I always mark it. I always mark the back of my base with the name of a mech anyways. So that people... Oops. Since I like, like to, I like GM games, that means that like the players that are barring mechs can easily look at the back of the mech and go, Oh, that's a Phoenix Hawker. Oh, that's a Hunchback. It's like, yeah. Mm. New players can jump right in and not have an issue. It's, it's nice. Last major pack we've got is going to be the Clan Heavy Striker Star. Alpha Strike cards again. Now, this pack contains, like, one of my least favorite mechs of the entire game. The poor, sad, why-is-it-even-existence gargoyle. It looks really awesome now. I mean, they made the, made it look a lot better in the sculpt. But, it's just not a good mech, in general. Whereas, the Mad Dog is, like, my favorite clanner of all time, nearly. They made him look really nice. The big, the bigger guns made him, make him look really good right there. The guns are no longer... So small. And look at the detail on those missile pods. That's just really sweet. Yeah, no, this guy, this guy rocks. But again, he's kind of looking off to the corner. Why? Whatever. I know the feet are kind of the direction you're looking for the thing, but yeah. Oh, the Viper looks pretty solid. Also, the Viper kind of looks like they, stuck, they took like a uh, World War II like airplane and stuck it on a mech. Oh, the Hellbringer. Looks a lot like a summoner, only with no armor and a lot more guns. Usually heat inefficient, too. Still, 
it's a good mech for a game master to use because it's like not something a pilot wants to run like a, a player because it can die really fast but at the same time it's also a threat on the battlefield and an all-time awesome mech the ice ferret always go for the d loadout yeah it's a good mech i like that one a lot okay so that's the packs we know what's in well we actually know what's in one more pack one more pack we know the knowledge we have knowledge of and that is going to be the urban mech salvage box ah Oh, good grief. They're not easy to get into. Hey, hey, look at this. They give you the cards on these things also. It's very nice. I have never been a fan of this mech. I'll be very honest, it's one of those mechs I've always looked at and gone, this is just a stupid design in every way, shape, or form. It is... I mean, this is a nice sculpt, actually. It's a good sculpt. There's some real good details on this thing. But it's still a stupid mech. The only version I've ever liked is the Aero 4 one because then the speed profile of 2, 3, 2 or whatever it has isn't bothered by the fact that it has a long-range artillery piece. But I know it's Urban Mech for, like, you know, fighting in cities, but it has no speed. You can't get out of the way of something else. If another mech gets a lock on you, or mech gets a lock on you, if another mech, like, is beginning to just target you, you you're toast with an Urban Mech. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, we're going to save the Legendary Mech Warrior for last. Let's dig into some of these Clan Invasion salvage boxes. I think these are all Omnimex. I don't think you get any uh, Interspheres in here, which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping they put some... But yes, there's one, one Omnimex. And hello, Adder! Okay, I can use two of him. He's pretty cool. Light, easy to use. And again, notice the cards that comes in the box. That's really kind of cool. I like that. They also like the time to put the, the the names on these little plastic pieces. I mean, I'm shocked by that by a little bit. A little bit of wasteful plastic, but whatever. Okay. I like the adder. That's a nice one. I mean, I, I personally, uh, there are several others I'd much rather get, like timber wolves or summoners or mad dogs. Oh, I love another mad dog. And we have a dire wolf. Because who doesn't need 200 tons of assault mechs? Smushing down the field. Rawr. Seriously. Maybe I can trade him off. I don't see the reason to have 200 tons of direwolves. Eh, maybe I'll keep two. I don't know. Ooh. That's a timber wolf. That's when we were talking about being good. Very glad to get a second one of him. Uh, just such a gorgeous mech. Such an all-around badass mech, too. It's one of those mechs you can throw on the tabletop and, like, the players just fear it because it's so good at everything it does. Last clan, inv clan invasion salvage box. If you're wondering, I cut all those things to make the filming a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, really? Three dire wolves? Three dire wolves? <laughs> oh... Yeah, this one goes up for trade no matter what. I hope I can find something I can trade with. I got a couple friends that went on the Kickstarter also, so maybe one of them got something I don't have and they can uh, use a second dire wolf or whatever. I don't need I don't need 300 tons of dire wolves. Okay, legendary mech warrior. We're hoping for... I want either the archer or the marauder. Because there's more interesting ones and I've got all these clam box. I really should get an archer or marauder. Oh, this is just... Uh, it's Natasha Kerensky. Direwolf. Oh, dear. Well, this one I keep because it's a character one. Oh, that's really kind of cool. There's stuff on the back. Worth the most. Oh, wow. Some significant buildings. Two cards in there. I didn't actually pay attention to any cards on the other ones. You know what? At least it looks different. Look at that LBX on the side right there. I think it's an LBX-20. Or is that an Ultra-20? I don't know, but that's that's actually kind of cool. Okay, I like the sculpt in it quite a bit. I'm just not super thrilled to be getting yet another Dire Wolf. That's four Dire Wolves today. Yeah, I'll see if someone doesn't want one for trade. You know, looking at the... That would be the one issue I'm having right now, is too many mechs are looking at the corner. I mean, I could... Some of these mechs I could probably cut... And reposition. Another trying to make them look more dynamic, but 
I'd like them to be looking a little bit, you know, you know, can look out to the side, but like look a bit more toward the front part of the side instead of straight at the corner. And it's okay. Again, I put the name labels on the backs of mechs so players can recognize them. That's an awesome mech, but I did not need, I did not need 400 tons of dire wolfiness. <sighs> You know, if you've enjoyed, if you want to join the uh, Kickstarter, the Kickstarter is over, already over, obviously. But I do believe you can jump in on the backer kit for like a late pledge thing, essentially. But you could probably join the late, you can join on the late Kickstarter, I do believe, and uh, and that would give you access to all the stuff. But there's a whole ton of mechs coming. That right there was only, there was only 24 mechs, I do believe, all total in the designs, uh, not kind of legendaries. And I do believe they did 96 resculpts, so there's a lot more coming down the pipeline. There's a lot more stuff coming to. I mean, you, there are there's so much you can get in the Kickstarter. It was a really amazing Kickstarter, and I'm really glad I backed it. It was it was a uh, it's awesome. But if you're interested in uh, joining it, I'll throw the link down below. Uh, if you'll see up in the card at the top, you have a link to some of my other uh, board games and or video games I've done. You can check them out. And if you've enjoyed uh watching me unbox a Battletech Kickstarter, please hit that like and subscribe button. You know, I, you know I'll probably do like a how to play video of Battletech just because why not? That'll be in the future. Look forward to it. And uh, that's all I've got to say for the day. So this is Leap of Thrones saying sayonara. Catch you next time.